It is a weapon our adversaries in today's world do not have. Let that be understood by those who practice terrorism and prey upon their neighbors. Some U.S. intelligence analysts believe America is already in a state of war with the Soviet Union. Are Soviet spies living among us? 52 American citizens have been taken hostage at the American Embassy in Tehran. An unnamed White House official claims that a Cold War disaster could be just around the corner. Mr. President, we have two names linked to the hostage situation, Arash Kadavar and Kasim Javadi. Just give the word. It's time to send a message. There will be no more hostages. You sure we can trust the police, Adler? This guy's done more for less. He'll look the other way. Hello. Glad you could join us, Hans. You remember Mason. We cleared a move on the target. Kasim is in his apartment, but he's well protected. Can keep my men out of the area for 15 minutes. I hope you brought an army. We brought enough. Pleasure doing business with you. Come on. Woods is itching for a dust stuff. We don't want to let him down. We're on the clock, Woods. Not going to see him waiting. Hey, Mason. Party favors are in the trunk. Dipshit probably thinks he's safe. That piece of trash is a lot of things. Safe ain't one of them. Do we really need to take this son of a bitch alive, Adler? Kazim has info we need. Everyone else can take a powder. The apartment's just up ahead. Hans only bought us 15 minutes. We need to hit Kasim hard and fast. Let's go. Go, go, go! Hans only bought us 15 minutes. We need to hit Kasim hard and fast. Let's go.
Handle the money? I have no idea where Arashi is. I don't think you understand the situation. Ah! You Americans have rules. You have rules. You took hostages. The rules changed. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. He's in Turkey. He's meeting someone in Trap Zone Airfield tomorrow night. One down, one to go. I get the next one. Hudson, Arash is in trap zone, Turkey. Kasim is out of the picture. How long before we get Arash? The team arrived in Turkey a few hours ago. They should be in position shortly. Airfield's just up ahead. Let's go find this shithead. Priority is to ID a Raj before things go hot. Mason, no! Kasim is out of the picture. The team arrived in Turkey a few hours ago. They should be in position shortly. Airfield's just up ahead. Let's go find this shithead. Priority is to ID a Raj before things go hot. Get to that truck! Up in! 
We gotta uh, watch. You should have freaked the hostages when you had the uh, chance! Uh, hostages? It was never about the hostages. Uh, uh, his plan is already underway. Uh, you won't be able to stop him this time. Stop who? Perseus. Bullshit. Perseus is dead. Dead? <laughs> All this time and you didn't even know. <laughs> Perseus will watch the west. Hudson don't want to hear about this. Let's sweep the tarmac for survivors and get the land. Who the fuck is Perseus? Nineteen forty-three. Detailed information from the Manhattan Project was stolen from Los Alamos by the Russian spy known as Perseus. Nineteen sixty-eight. Vietnam War. Viet Cong soldiers orchestrated by Perseus attempted to steal an American-made nuclear bomb from a U.S. firebase. Five days ago, while on a mission, we acquired intel that Perseus is in play again and planning an attack on the West. Perseus, the CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. Mr. Hudson, we're all aware of Perseus. We're also aware he's more myth than fact. Personally, I think he's nothing more than the Russian boogeyman. General Haig, allow me to introduce the man I suited to respond to that. CIA clandestine special officer, Russell Adler. He's one of the few people who even come close to capturing Perseus. Uh, Mr. Adler, why should we take this Perseus threat seriously? You don't have to, sir. <laughs> yeah, then a lot of innocent people are gonna die. Why do you say that? Sir, every time Perseus has come into play, it's shifted the balance of the Cold War. After 13 years of silence, if he's active, something big is going to happen. Something that will affect the free world. Sir, sir, Mr. President, sir, Mr. President. Mr. President, this is Jason Hudson and Russell Adler. I know their names. Who do you think approved their last mission? Is the threat real? Yes, sir, we believe it is. Can you stop Perseus? We can, sir. I've already submitted the requisition for my team. Sir, their requests are highly irregular, most likely illegal. If the press gets all... What the hell are you talking about? Do you know who we are? Every mission we go on is illegal. Sergeant Woods, plausible deniability is the backbone of our work. Al, we're talking about preventing an attack on the free men and women of the world. Give Mr. Adler whatever he wants. Gentlemen, you've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. There is no higher duty. There is no higher honor. And while few people will know of your struggles, Rest assured, the entire free world will benefit. I know you won't fail us. This is Hudson. How long until we have a lead on Perseus? They're about to get started. Adler's in West Berlin. He should be at the safe house soon. Do you trust him? <laughs> I'm not the one you should be asking, Black. What about his team? It's a strong group. He chased down Sims, Azalea, even pulled some strings to get Helen Park from MI6. We'll get them Mason and Woods soon. I'm not so sure about Park. She and Adler have that business from before. Of course he wants her there. And the new one. Well, well don't get me started. That's the one we need to keep our eyes on.
Bell. Welcome to West Berlin. We've got a job to do. Mark. Adler. Bell. Let's get started. There's been a surge in Russian chatter in the last 48 hours. The CIA and the DOD have tapped their inside sources for anything substantial. So far, there are no leads on Perseus. MI6 has come up empty-handed as well. And we'll have to start somewhere. So we're going back here. Vietnam, 1968. One of our closest encounters with Perseus. Shit. Some part of me always knew that mission wasn't done with us. Pull up everything we've got on the attack in Da Nang and run it past Park. She'll cross-reference it with MI6. We're looking for code names, encrypted transmission, Russian activity with NVA, anything that could be a lead. Good. Bell, this is where you found it. I needed you then, but I did. Now I need you again. Head to the evidence board. We'll retrace our steps through Da Nang. Anything that could give us a lead on Perseus. Bell. We're going back to Vietnam. First time Perseus pinged our radar. It was late January 68. We were a joint CIA SOG task force embedded within the 3rd Marine Regiment near Da Nang. SOG was there to sniff out Soviet activity. And word had it, Russian operatives were active in the region. Perseus had no known presence in Vietnam. That changed at Da Nang. Somehow Perseus knew about Operation Fracture Jaw. Fracture Jaw? That one sure went sideways. We launched out of Camp Haskins. Yeah, I'll never forget that shit. Good. We want those memories. No details too small. A face, a name. We're looking for anything that can lead us to Perseus. This feels like looking for a needle in a haystack, in a field of haystacks. Maybe, but that needle's somewhere. Remember, we had a job to do. Fracture jaw. That one sure went sideways. Bell, it's time to wake up. It's great time. Welcome to another day in the life of Camp Haskins, a little oasis in the middle of this godforsaken shitstorm. You're pretty safe here. Hey, Butcher, how's the arm? Still hurts like hell, but at least I can move it. You know, reading that shit's gonna make you go blind. Yep. That's why I wanted all up here. Bell, you're with Sims. Usually bring out the best in each other. We got a new assignment. FOB4 Ripcord is holding a vital asset. Charlie wants real bad. What kind of asset are we talking about? The kind you don't ask about. Ripcord has been taking a hell of a beating. So it's our job to secure the asset and get the fuck out. 
Relax. We got fast flyers to provide combat air support for this mission. It'll be a walk in the park. Headsets on. All birds check in when ready. Badger Niner 1, good to go. Badger Niner 2, clear to go. Badger Niner 3, rotors up. All birds, go, go, go. Crank up and pull pitch. All birds are in the air. You all sitting comfortably? Oh man, Adler. Why do I get the feeling you about to give us some bad news? Because you're a smart guy, Sims. But the news isn't bad. In fact, it could be very, very good. The asset of Ripcord is going to have to wait a little while. We're breaking off from the Armada, taking a detour. And that's good because... A source tipped us off that there may be a heavy hitter in town. A Soviet operative known as Perseus. Oh, shit. Appreciate the enthusiasm, Sims. If our source is right, we could be looking at an Intel gold mine. First time Perseus pinged our radar. Approaching the village now. Yeah, roger that. I'm going to establish an LZ. RPG! Talk to him. Light him up. Thank you. 
on you, Bell. Open the door. Adler, we confirmed it. Soviets on site. You sure? Well, I'm staring at two bodies that sure as hell don't look Vietnamese to me. Bell, grab that comms log. Let's see who the fuck they've been talking to. Mission accomplished. We have the intel. Let's bug out. Good work. Hang on to that intel. We're coming in to pick you up. All right, let's go rejoin the Armada and get this fucking asset.
Watch yourselves. Roger that, Ripcord. You Adler? Mac V. Sog? Yeah, yeah, just hurry the fuck up already. Yes, sir. Thank you. Don't thank me. Thank Bell. They're the one who just sank us a fucking phone book full of Soviet intel. Let's go. Now. Godspeed, Commander. A fucking nuke? Are you fucking kidding me, Adler? It's a failsafe. That's all you need to know. We that desperate already. Not yet. Perseus knew. Sims! Bell, you okay? Okay! Bell, let loose of that goddamn turret before we're overrun! Call this a success, Sims? At least the nuke didn't go off. More importantly, we got intel on Perseus. Don't Told you we had a job to do. It ain't done yet, not by a long way. Yo. Yeah. How did the memory exercise go? Well, to hear it from Adler, it's working. Bell remembered finding that encrypted intel in Vietnam and has almost finished decoding it. Anything useful in there? Some names, apparently. Possible leads. Park is trying to connect the dots. We don't have much time. Does the team know about our mishap in Berlin yet? No, but if it's connected to one of those names from Bell, they'll find out soon enough. You won't let that happen, Hudson. Don't say anything more than necessary. That's never been a problem for me. We finished analyzing the names Bell acquired at Tanang. One in particular stands out. Anton Volkov. He's a Russian arms dealer working out of East Berlin. Admittedly, his connection to Perseus comes as a surprise. We've got killer capture orders on Volkov. So if we can't get to Perseus, we'll get to his men. Close off his resources, force him out of hiding. Mason and Woods are still wrapping up business in Kiev. Which means Volkov is ours. Gear up, and we'll move out.
m i six has been tracking volkov for several years it is my strong preference that we attempt to capture rather than kill them we'll talk on the drive bell your preferences Volkov heads the Russian mob that moved into East Berlin once the wall went up in 61. This guy has connections to cartels throughout Europe and the Americas. Neutralizing him will not only hurt Perseus, but the global syndicate. He's a big fish. And here's our little fish, Franz Kraus. According to MI6, he's one of Volkov's information couriers. He has a drop with Volkov scheduled for tomorrow night. We'll infiltrate East Berlin via the U-Bahn. The ghost station on the other side of the wall has the access point we need. From there, we'll watch Kraus as he enters the city. Once Falkov shows his face, it's killer capture. Führe waren. Ich suche über meinen Ausweis. Das ist Sperrgebiet. Sie sind verhaftet. Runter auf den Boden. Hold, hold, hold. Now. Was zum nice work. Let's clean this up.
Kraus should be coming through the checkpoint soon. Let's get to the rooftop. Park, Lazar, we're almost in position. Copy that. Come on, this way. Careful of the spotlight. Lock a place down, I'll give him that. Keep an eye on that checkpoint. Krauss will be coming through any time. Look for Krauss with your camera. Security's even tighter than usual. If they detain Kraus, he could miss his meeting with Volkov. Near the checkpoint. Man with the briefcase. Is that him? Job, that's our man. That's Kraus. On me. Park, Kraus just crossed the wall. What's your status? The Tsar and I are at the exfil point, awaiting your arrival. Roger that. Our intel says Kraus and Volkov will meet at the bar across the street. Meet Hudson's contact inside. She'll have a blue umbrella. I'll stay out here and watch the street. Wie schön, dass Sie es geschafft haben. Kraus ist at the table over my right shoulder. didn't reveal much. He said you're after Volkov. Who knows? The man's like a ghost. I would guess no more than a day. One of my informants was picked up in a random suite just two blocks from here. The Stasi must assume they are more nearby. I would ask a favor of you. He will not hold up under torture for long. We need him rescued. Order. Silenced. They're holding him here. Dankeschön. Kraus is ex Stasi, so don't let his wholesome appearance fool you. The man is a killer. Heads up, Bell. I think Volkov is walking in. Who is 
so lange hier, bis die Stasi weg ist. They're looking for you. I've been monitoring a, a nearby KGB field house. I, I don't know how they found me. I, I've done everything by the book. Thank you for saving my life. I'll be waiting to hear from you.
work. I don't think anyone saw you. Follow me. Stay quiet. Don't want the locals writing us out. Parks in the electronic store right across the street from Krauss's place. I'm gonna pick her up some netbooks from the brown bag. Park is just up ahead. We're back. A car pulled up near Krauss's building a few minutes ago, but I didn't have a good angle to... Just a moment. Press on the telephone. Bell, get eyes on Cross. What do you think, Lazar? Sounds like Moldkoff wants Krauss's briefcase. We should place a track on it. That case will lead us straight to Volkov. One of us can sneak into Krauss's apartment. Avoiding Krauss and his wife might be the greater challenge. Bell volunteers. While Bell's doing that, I'll check around the exterior for any unwanted guests. Bart, you can keep an eye on us from here. I'll try to give you my best angle. Lovely. Ja, das ist meine Nummer, aber ich fürchte, Sie haben sich... Hören Sie mal, ich weiß, dass Ihre Freundin nicht hier ist. Entweder hat sie Ihnen eine falsche Nummer gegeben... She'll be out for hours. Clean it up. Edda, suchst du mir meinen Schirm? Ich gehe in ein paar Minuten. Mama, ich finde meine Decke nicht. Shit, we missed the kid.
Konzentrier die Zähne. Ich komm gleich drauf. Don't let Kraus see you.
explain how they got to the materials. I brought them to you. That makes this much less unpleasant. Perseus has been looking for this one. Then you let Perseus know I captured them? We have greater killer as well. Her own colleague read it out. You spineless piece of shit. I I'm sorry, Greta. The KGP's pockets are deeper. Uh, fine. Perseus has a large bounty on your head. I don't care about your questions. Unfortunately for you, it seems these friends of yours have other places to be, comrade. But you are damaged goods. Only a grave can cure a hunchback. Not a good! did the right thing. One of Perseus's men off the board. Is it? I wanted him alive. 
m i six could have gotten so much more out of him can't win them all now let's get the hell out of east berlin the information from volkov confirms our worst fears Persia smuggled a nuclear device through east berlin we can't be certain of that yet he has it i'm sure of it we found encrypted geo-coordinates with Volkov's nuclear intel. An unpopulated region within the Soviet Republic of Ukraine. An aerial recon run revealed this. I want to know everything that's going on inside this building. We'll need the others for this one. Mason and Woods will join us from Kiev. Bell, you'll infill here with Woods. Mason and I will be standing by for an extract. Bark will handle comms. We have no idea how large or prepared their forces will be, so use discretion if you have to engage. It's time we took a peek behind the Iron Curtain. I'm not picking up any extra chatter. You're in the clear, Woods. Copy that, Park. Stay on comms. Keep Mason and Adler on standby. Let's go. Bell, we need to move. The base is just over the next ridge. Get in, learn what you can, and get out. Shit, Park. We plan to stay a while. See the gulag. Do that after we learn what Percy's has planned. Look at that monster. Reds could be hiding anything inside. Snap a picture. Ops want to see this. All right. Time to get our hands dirty. I'm seeing guards. High and low. Choose your target. Photo ops over. Shoot like that. Take point and head down the slope. I'll hang back at cover. Snap pictures of anything that looks important. Maps, blueprints, whatever you can find. Move into the base. Find a way into the main building. I'll trail and disable the perimeter alarm. Quick thing. Shit. 
Patrol's approaching my position. They'll find a way in. I'll follow around. Я проверю. Что это? Нужна поддержка!
lost someone. Park, Bell found us a way inside, but we don't got a lot of time. Then get moving. No arguments here. Guards down below. I'll move to the lower deck and engage on your mark. All right, I'm set. On your mark, Bell. All clear. Moving up. Be ready. Could be a thousand reds on the other side of this door. Cover me. Not a fucking word, Bell. The hell is this place? It's a Spetsnaz training course. Made to look like fucking any town in USA.
elevator leads straight to the control tower. Grenade! Enemy contact! Shit, that guy looks like a handful. Elevator leads straight to the control tower. Grenade! Some kind of live fire drill. Place is crawling with reds. We're still looking for intel. Bloody hell. I'm putting Mason and Adler on standby for extract. She sounds mad. Does she sound mad? <laughs> Looks like their command center. Come on. Jackpot. Computer central. Let's see what the reds are really up to. Bell, hop on that terminal. Start poking. Welcome to the Soviet People's Warfare Analysis Army. Tactical urban combat statistics. Restricted access. That's kid stuff. Keep looking. KGB daily reports. Restricted access. Boring. What else is there? Operation Greenlight. Restricted access. What the fuck is Operation Greenlight? Bell, can you hack into that? Of course there's a password. Look around. These Reds ain't that smart. Maybe there's something on the desk. Restricted access. What about Stalin's greatest hits? I don't know. Fuck, keep looking. Stalin's birthday. It's probably Stalin. Try Stalin. It's always Stalin. Nice. I'm grabbing a copy. This doesn't make any sense. Percy's infiltrated a CIA nuke program, codenamed Operation Greenlight. 
run by Hudson. Solonook is American. And Hudson fucking knew. Shit. Time to go. I can't fucking believe it. Park, come in. Park! Hudson lied to us. He fucking lied to us. What? What are you talking about? I'm talking about green light. That's what Perseus is after. And Hudson has his fingerprints all over it. What's your breaking up? Just get the hell out of there.
of street signs? There, I can see the exit! Yes, sir, I'm on it. You knew the nuke was from green light, didn't tell us! What else are you hiding? Maybe I can knock the truth out of you. You might want to rethink that, Woods. Everybody stand down. This little pissing match isn't gonna help us catch Perseus. Why didn't you tell us it was an American nuke? He needed us to clean up his mess. The bastard's been lying to us all along. It's not a lie. It's an omission of fact. That's what you do best, isn't it, Hudson? Manipulate people. Tell them your own version of the truth. There is no truth. Only who you choose to believe. Adler knows all about that. Don't you, Russ? Operation Greenlight. What is it? Tell us everything. Back in 58, the arms race was in full swing. Eisenhower was convinced that the Reds moved on Europe. We couldn't respond quick enough. So he authorized Operation Greenlight, a top secret program that placed nuclear bombs in every major European city. The ultimate countermeasure to a Soviet invasion. 74, the bombs were upgraded to high-yield neutron bombs, capable of terminating personnel without damaging infrastructure. Thousands dying in a flash. You're talking about fucking infrastructure. How's that for civilized? We kill the people, but preserve the buildings. We're trying to preserve our way of life. How long have you known about the missing nuke? One of the green light nukes went offline eight weeks ago. We suspected it was Perseus, but couldn't confirm it. So we saw the photos you brought back from East Berlin. So, there's an American-made nuke in the wild. And once Perseus detonates it, the United States becomes global enemy number one. We wouldn't have this problem if you'd done your job. Killed Perseus in Vietnam. Careful, Hudson. Next time, I might not stop Woods. We need to know what Perseus is planning for that nuke. Park, anything else in that printout Bell and Woods pulled from the base? There's mention of an excavation taking place in the Ural Mountains, Yamantau. Our insider within the KGB confirmed an active operation. Yamantau? I thought Hudson and Weaver buried that place years ago. We did. Perseus wants to salvage the old mainframe. Dragovich and Steiner must have left some good shit behind. Steiner. Send me in Woods. You're too close to this, Mason. We can afford zero fuck-ups. Bullshit. You know there's no one better for the job. It's my call. I want Mason and Woods on this. Find that mainframe before Perseus does. I'll contact our KGB insider, Belikov. He'll offer logistical support. Hell, Belikov may want to fly the chopper himself. Whatever Perseus wants at Yamantau, I want it more. <laughs>